your food. All right, let me know how important now sunlight is to our planet. Mm -hmm. And of course, you could catch another episode of Dr. Binox tomorrow morning. So it's every weekday morning right here on Open Your Eyes. Yeah. It is that time of the morning whereby we uh, move on into our final segment. And for this one, Tux Belizean Fried Chicken. You are able to tux up yourself with their new product, Dry Batter Mix. Now, when to tell us about it, Phyllis Reyes, Tux Belizean Fried Chicken, Asusenia, I hope I get it correct, Asusenia Reyes. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Look, we are right. People might not recognize you. We should say Susie, right? Yeah, Susie. Yeah. It's nice to see you guys. And I'll tell you what, um, people are actually looking forward to this dry mix. Um, you know, we, we, for the most part, look at, look at COVID-19 as a, as a man, it's a damper, it's a this. But we fail to realize there are new business ventures coming out of uh, this pandemic. Tell us about this dry mix. How long has it been uh, in existence and what prompted you guys to want to do it? Well, first of all, good morning, everyone. Um, what happened is actually, I don't know if everybody knows, but dad recently passed away Mother's Day during this COVID dilemma pandemic. Oh. So May 10th, dad passed away. Um, right before dad passed away, what, whenever we have, like Phyllis had talked a few Months ago, I would say, and she had fallen ill, so we had to officially close down stock. And customers were still calling, you know, when you have stock, when you have stock. So I decided to start doing it once a month on weekends. Yeah. So we still had, like, you know, you do the ordering, you do it, we only do it by catering. But then I had my friends in the U.S. who were saying, we want stocks, can we like people like post the picture? I had my stock <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm like, how am I get stocks then? In all honesty, when I do go away, we do talk parties and then everybody like in LA we do a little talk party, everybody Ooh. come over, no. we do a barbecue, we do a talk night. <laughs> <laughs> so my friends were saying, Why why you can't just let the butter? I said, Well, I can't let the ingredients, it's a secret in all honesty. Between uh -huh. myself, my sister, mom and dad, we're the only ones who know it. And Ooh. our sons have now begun to learn the recipe, but they're not officially know it quite well yet. Oh, so, still hide a few ingredients. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We have decided that one of my friends is going away. He said, Hey, I'm going away. I have to press some butter. Uh -huh. And I go, You know what? Yes, you can. So yeah. for them, I mean, this is a little bit tricky, guys. Uh -huh. It looks a little bit like flour, but it also can look like other stuff. <laughs> so <laughs> I have to do a little label so that they know it's not cocaine or anything of that sort. Yeah. So that's how I came up with my little top butter for my friends and family. <laughs> Finally, they posted when they do their talk, they do their picture thing and uh -huh. posted. Oh no, that has a whole rile up. We want to talk at least to our Jacanios, the San Pedrano, people who know my dad. My dad is doing talk at So it was unbelievable. So I told her, you know what? I was actually, I had a little family meeting that said, go ahead. We decided we can go ahead and do the butter. So that's how we started. But then Carnivore decided, they said, two girls, you know what, help yourself some of the butter. And that's literally how it began. Rodent oh, wow. and save you have been willing to do it. However, I'm getting a proper machine to get it sealed and vacuumed because it's going to be on shelves longer. Wow. Yeah. While at Carnivore, instantaneously, by the week, she gets it. Oh, so wow. I'm working more a little bit on my packages. That looks then it so will be good. Okay, um, so, so let, me, let, me, let me just tell you, I, I'm still stuck with the, you putting a label and this business starting because you didn't want it to look like drugs when you were traveling. <laughs> I, I'm st I, I don't think I moved past that yet because it makes so much sense, but it's also hilarious. <laughs> so, but honestly, because my friend, it was her mom taking it, and she's like, yeah, this is how we do a Mekai chair. And I'm like, mom, because I call her mom. Uh -huh. Mom, you know what? I'm going to do a label for this weekend. People said dry butter. And, <laughs> and there was the start of your business. <laughs> So I, you know, okay, so you, you put together your secret recipe of what the batter is. Um, That's right. And you've and tested it you out. a little bit of uh -huh. what's in it so you can understand. Okay. Mechanic. It actually comes like the brown paper bag that you're showing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But inside of each little bag, 
has a little instruction. Oh, okay. It's a relatively easy batter. Okay. Everything, the inner, every secret, anything. So all you need to do, what would you do? Add salt. Mm -hmm. Salt to the chicken. The chicken only has salt. Okay. And then you will add water. Nothing else but water. We today wanted to show you the texture because that is basically the biggest issue we have. Most people who buy say, but I don't understand how much water because the things that approximately it okay. depends on what you're cooking. Okay. Okay. Because people so you want to go into that part? Let's yeah, do it. Let's see it. I see don't go Phyllis, to Phyllis today they said make we cook. cook. <laughs> people only they also do vegetables. Uh -huh. People okay. who are vegetarian, <clears throat> cauliflower broccoli are the most popular kind of taste like meat. Yeah. zucchini we do vegetables with it we dip it in um we also have people doing jalapeno poppers we have onion rings it's become the fish fillet you know mm. so but we want to show you the texture so i let you at least start mixing that while i continue to sing. Right. this is only half of a batter because we're only going to do a few pieces for you guys but you have an idea to be all right okay. so so that's so you add water and you stir yeah, Susan, put, Susan has um, put in a half a bag only. Okay. And it usually takes three cups to the whole bag. So we're doing just one and a half cup to show you more or less what the texture should be like. When you put in the chicken, I have used one cup right now. It's a bit thickish. I want to show you. I mean, I'm going to have a cup. So at this point, let me show you a little close up. Let me yeah. do my thing here. So, see, we put only one cup of water, it still looks thick. Mm -hmm. People want to tell me, look like flower lamb. <laughs> so, you, we add another half cup, more or less. Okay. Now, guys, if you're doing a little bit, we do it by hand, or you do a little whisking. Mm -hmm. But in all honesty, when you do the whole batch, we use the whole time the cake pizza because these things have been created to make life easy for us. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Liz like using her finger. She likes feeling the texture. That's how mom did it in the original way. You beat of and it goes all the lumps with your fingers, right? Yes. And yes. that's how we cook at home. <laughs> Most people. Exactly. So, and then as you continue going, if you notice, see that. Mm -hmm. So, see, that texture would be good for your vegetables, but not for the tops because. The thicker it is, it is crunchier, but when it gets a little bit cold, it will stay hard. Oh. So we do it a little bit thinner, like pancake butter. That's my ah. example on the instruction, ah. like pancake butter. So where it's thick, but it will still run. See, eggs. No, look at it. See, it's on the spoon and it runs off, but it gives it a little coating. That's the texture you want for top. All right. All right, make me see that again. Let's we we missed the shot. Let's see it. All right. All right. Because some people make it too thick and then it, it, it has like a wet in, in the middle of the chicken and the yes, butter. Yes, because if it's thick between the chicken and the butter, mm -hmm. yeah. it, will, it will not cook yeah, as cook well. So the outside crispy, but the inside will have a leaf. Exactly where I call it just now for a lovely texture. Yeah. You know, or like what we call um, fritters, like yeah. fritters texture. Yeah. So you know, not as nice. Is good for the for vegetables, yes, you dip your vegetables in a little bit of dry flour, dip it in your butter, and you deep fry. All right. Mm. That's perfect texture. One and a half cup. One and a half cup to half of your butter. And then if it's the whole thing, as the instruction says, three. Now, again, this is only because we don't, we don't make, we don't know to measure, so I'm, we are doing our best to give you approximations. <laughs> So, All right. And then so now do you thing. flour your chicken? For, you said you only add salt, yeah, but salt usually when you salt. do a batter, you flour it so it stick on. Do you only have to for flour vegetables it? and poppers and onions for, for chicken? Uh -huh. Because it's wet already, it will yeah. hold perfectly. Look, oh. guys, Look at that. Yeah. That's the texture you Perfect. want. Perfect. Beautiful. Mm. That is what you want. Yeah. Dip that's it beautiful. all the way in. You try it get, and you let it dribble off a little bit. And that's what you want to have your little top. We 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 will be frying these to send it over for you guys, but we did a few right before we started. Just for you guys to have an idea. Yeah. This is the brown neck that most people like. I mean, you people like it darker. Yeah. Uh -huh. But I also want to mention 
because it's a little bit we are making, we're going to use our typical pot. You make sure the oil is enough that it sinks in. Don't go back around your pot. Makes it deep fried. If you use a little um, fryer, deep fryer, uh -huh. set it to 350 degrees. Uh -huh. And then you will also fry it for about 14 to 15 minutes. Okay, in your perfect. Deep fryer, right? So that's an idea. Now, if you're hosting a big crowd, Mm -hmm. And you do a lot of wings. No, for tops, we don't sell it in little pieces like this. I you all traditional people know you do a quart of chicken, leg and thigh, breast and wings. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So for that, that takes a little bit more time than what we're explaining right now. Yeah. But for um, when you're doing parties, people like drumsticks and like wings, we're going to dress in a pieces like this. Yeah. Um, mm. We suggest you have fried maybe at least an hour before so that when your crowd comes, or equally say sometimes she does it in the morning or you put it in the fridge for a little while you know why the oil gets cold then you could deep fry again and it takes three to five minutes oh then oh. that way you're not waiting all the while for you to actually be waiting for your tux. we like tux hot Phyllis like tux cold <laughs> 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 like, sell out all I, when my customers come i like to tell them five o'clock and i want them to cook drive come drive pick up and go yeah mm -hmm. but she said no matter if you're in the shop because we serve it in shop paper uh -huh. and that let the, the original way is the shop paper that's right and that doesn't let it study too quickly right and the little butter tastes quickly nice so t tell us about some of the other tricks because i mean you guys know how to make uh the fried chicken to taste the way you everybody is used to it. So when you do it at home, maybe the oil not hot enough. Maybe you know what are some of the mistakes you know people tend to make? Yeah, overheat the oil. Yeah, if overheat the oil, it gets brown too fast. I mean, you we put that to a three fifty, like what? Three hundred and fifty degrees is a very good temperature. Uh -huh. If you do it too hot, it you know, get crispy quick, and you know I realize inside still a little bit raw. So oh. three fifty degrees. Don't let it be no more hotter than that. Okay. And like I said, if you're doing it on the little deep fryers, it's easier because that um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. Look, you when you put it in the oil, don't lift the fork every minute, don't pinch it, leave it to build that beautiful coating on top because Golden that's how it makes fried chicken nice. The yes. butter look is that when you want to lift it out and do a separate this is the half fry. So mm -hmm. now you would take this out, leave it outside until you um actually ready for fully fry when your your guests are, are over. Yeah. That's interesting. Look upon okay. that. Yeah. yeah. So that's basically how you want your half fry to look. Then you will then leave that to actually get cold. After mm -hmm. it's cold, you will then do a second fry, and then this is how it will look on your second fry. Cool. That nice crunchy golden brown. That's a secret we have given to you now. <laughs> oh. But honestly, if you're going to eat right away, small pieces, you just deep fry and leave it a little bit longer on both sides and yeah. it will get brown like this and it can be eaten on one fry. All right. Okay. Oh, I know. So that, <laughs> but I wanted also everybody to know, I am still doing talks. If you go to Top Belize and Fried Chicken Facebook page, I've been doing this nearly every week because of COVID. I am no, not working any specific place right now. I think the dog smelled the yes. chicken. Yeah. Yes. So <laughs> with that said, you, I, every Friday, most Fridays, it's literally drive through. I do a text or call and I'm outside, but you have to order between Monday and Wednesday. Okay. It's limited orders, guys. So, Every week, my customers, my regular customers, already know they can call in. They place their orders. So Friday, they will call and say, I'm here. My son literally goes down with his little mask, his change. Yeah. Yes, and he goes down, gives you in your hand, and you drive off. It's literally convenient, you know, because with nice. COVID, we're trying our best to not have people yeah. lamping up and around. Yeah. That's true. So where can we find the mix? The mix right now is in Carnivore. Um, mm -hmm which is on Eve Street, the yep. meat shop. Mm -hmm. And also, you can call WhatsApp me. I will also make it for you. I will ask for you to give me at least a day notice because I make it in batches. Mm -hmm. And then I will get a few orders. But you just call WhatsApp or call 
and I make it and you can get it. It's $13 mm -hmm. and this batch can do about 12 pieces. Let's do, you know how to do pieces like this? Yeah. So the 12 to 14 pieces. All right. So you could only get them at Carnivore or by calling you? Or message right. your Facebook? Or message your Facebook. I check that at least three, four times a day. Nice. Um, and it can be picked up. I'm, I'm close to Carnivore as well on Deep Street. Yeah. So you would then pick it up, tell me when you want it to be picked up, and I will have it ready for you. Perfect. Awesome. All right. Perfect. I, I, I don't know how I feel about this uh, at-home cooking. I prefer you guys here where we can taste the chicken. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know what's interesting, guys? I will be honest with you. Yeah. A lot of our family and friends say, you know, ask how they come, they see how we make it. They hang out with them. Like, you know, actually, they're really doing bar for everybody to see you cook. Yeah. We take drinks, but they still not, some of them still are willing to just buy up. They feel, <laughs> they do it at home. They say, no, taste the same one. Two, now the people out district, they have no choice. Oh, I have been going out district, guys, but again, I had to calm down because the cases were up. I yes. did already draw. I have my, my uh, um, key cocker mom, who is also distributing for me in key cocker. Yeah. I send it to her, so if key cocker people want, I already have a distributor there. They, most people know Miss Lori Young. She helps me out. Um, my friend in Orange Rock, Alicia Young, her, her daughter, she, she distributed um, Orange Rock for okay. me. Just that you would have to tell me, and then that is more like a week notice, because then by the weekend it would be there. Okay. So those are the two places that already has a little distribution. <laughs> Uh, so uh, 676734, that's the number? That's right. All I right. can't give you a police number because she's busy with the little poor past people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you but worry. I will not lie. This is a family thing. Phyllis, when she has stuff, I help her. Yeah. She is there for every frying I do. The baka, she know I don't master it, so she don't have to give it no more with the baka. Uh -huh. you know? But she's the older sister. She's the one that loves the kitchen. So it, for me, I like sales. So I didn't think this was something, but with COVID not being employed right now, it's become a passion I get for like if you realize it's not as bad. I know I don't mind to do the washing up and clean up. No, I learned to do everything. <laughs> 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 all right well ladies it is so great to hear from you and check in and i know you know what a lot of people are spending time in their kitchens these days so uh they just have to add tux fried chicken to to the list of things that they're making yes. now and they can they be free to whatsapp me and tell yeah. me how to do it now what i do is i guide them actually sure. a lot of the picture that i posted on the facebook page uh -huh. You will notice the people would they call me and say, look on the texture and I said, Oh, you're gonna leave it too thin. I trick I tell them the little tricks what to add a little bit of make it not be too thin and then you know they can still do the batter and get it to the, the uh, almost a little perfection. With the with the <laughs> with of course the mix, dry in. mix. And right. of course the competition with the Chinese, you can the price. My thoughts is very delicious. It's worth the price, but I know there are people out there saying because it's ten dollars for a quart of chicken with your fried and pepper. They're saying, "Man, I some local and say that's a two Chinese chicken." And I say, you know, that's the best I can do right now. Yeah. But make your it's own tops with this butter. You can now feed the whole family yeah. and cook your own chicken, so it becomes a little bit more affordable for people with this pandemic happening. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You've got it right there, man. I I tell you what. And we change the word family to crowd. Feed you one crowd. Yes, and because when it's a crowd, I don't recommend the little deep fryer. Yeah. Deep fryer is too, they're small. We have them, we use them for the fries. That's yeah. the honest truth. We prefer using our deep little pots because it fries quicker. The stove is well. We use we used to do only wok. Uh -huh. But now in the house it gets a bit hot, so we use the little pots. Oh. Deep pot. yeah. Well, well. <laughs> pick up your own tux dry butter and you can add that to your, your quarantine and list of recipes that you're working on. Because you everybody has a we, list that they're tackling. <laughs> we actually want people to post their pictures, tell us how it's going for them, yeah. or send us the pictures if they don't want to post it and we're going to post it. We want to see how it's coming out. We want to know that we are definitely getting the feedback from our customers. And is it mandatory to serve it with the jalapeno? I'll let Philip answer that. 
<laughs> actually a lady from the US, you know they have a page up on Facebook, the old time beliefs or something like that. Yeah. People always post up there. Who remember cups? And there's this lady that came on and she's almost my dad did that. She says she remember the first triangle cup. It was on a bridge foot. That's the first cup in like 1969 or something like that. So she's saying she went on a um, boat trip with my dad to the Keys. And my dad took macaroni and cheese with jalapeno peppers. Mm. And I'm like, what? That means my father has been eating jalapeno peppers with everything. <laughs> and this is where he came in with this jalapeno pepper. <laughs> so you have to throw in that, uh, uh, that jalapeno if you want to make it a real deal tough when you make it at home. It if you want to wrap it in your little sharp paper to start the oil rather than straining, that's also that's another good. good thing because okay. it, the paper actually holds the oil and it doesn't get it um, soft. It stays okay. crispy for a longer time. Okay. All right. Well, now we know the secret. We don't know what I'm going to get it. Go to another one, but I'm going to put my foot in the back of it. That's the only thing. We we'll leave that right there. I'm kidding, guys. Right. Well, thank you thank guys you. for telling us all about it. And uh, I know now people know exactly where to go to get their batter, whether it's call, message, or pick it up from the store. Thank you and best thank of luck you. and stay thank safe, ladies. Thank you guys for having us. I really appreciate it. We, yeah. I mean, in this time of what's happening, we really appreciate that you guys are giving us this opportunity. Um, this chance to do this, no? Yeah. All right. Keep <laughs> safe, guys. You, you too. too. <laughs> All right. And with that, we're going to go ahead and take our final break. And when we come back, we'll have our wrap-up. So stay tuned. Mm.